Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Diablo 4 player tries Path of Exile for the first time. This is episode 7 if you can believe it. So we're going to be doing act 7 today and I have a few hopes for this uh, act. I hope we can get some new gear to make me look a bit cooler because when I'm standing next to this dude over here, I feel a little inadequate. Everybody say hi to Frank. Frank, there you go. wait, wait a second. There we go. Let's put him in his house and come on out frank say hello to everybody yeah hi guys um so let's have a quick chat over what i've done since so i've been playing before recording i played for about 30 minutes and i've been looking at my gems and i've basically added a few things based on lily because lily is a seller a vendor that i unlocked last act and she's got all the gems it seems which has been really fun and i've been looking at what i can add to my setup here to improve so the one of the few things i've done is i've bought a few support gems so second wind support to go with my uh, dash so my dash is on a lower cooldown and also a chance to poison support on a spell which i'm really looking forward to trying which is volatile dead which explodes corpse is corpses which is great because i, I played necromancer on Diablo 4 but i play it anyway um so yeah i'm excited to explode some corpses on top of that i've done one thing you guys in the comments have been telling me is to put steel skin on my left click so hopefully i'll be using it a lot more and before we get started let's put a few points in here so so i could go northeast to suppress i'm saying northeast top right to like suppress some more spell damage or I could just do it here. And that would also increase my evasion reading, which I guess is good. What's over here? Ooh, increased life. That might be a good shout. I already have a life mastery, but Path of the Warrior, that doesn't seem adequate. Constitution, yeah, I feel like Constitution might be a good shout because I've seen some comments saying like, I can't believe he's got this much health and he's still surviving. So why don't I go that way? And I can get evasion rating here. So let's do one, two. Yeah, I'll go, I'll, I'll do the strength, but only because I want to get to these increased life. If I can put like three points here and three points here, that's like 30% life increase. So let's go for that. Hopefully my DPS won't suffer too much from me not putting points in there. Okay, so I finished these quests. Now it's on to act seven. Let's go. The bridge encampment. Never been here before. Oh, I know you. Oh, yes, you do seem to have a the relic. Yep, I'll do it. Meet Alvra at the causeway. Sounds good. Okay, we've got our quests. Oh, talk to Sin. Where is Sin? Where are you at, man? Oh, he's down here. You know who Sin reminds me of? I don't know if you guys have watched The Sandman, the show on Netflix, which was also a comic book. He reminds me of one of these characters from that series. Right, the Pantheon. I'm remembering things now. Yes, yes. Oh, man, I forgot how cool this, this got after Act 6. Act 1 to 5 is fun, but Act 6 was like something else. All right, let's have a look at our quests here. So we have a few here that we don't know where to go to. Uh, oh, no, I need to kill Maligaro so I can harvest his soul. Not a problem. Can do that. Silver Locket and more stuff. All right, let's get this show on the road, guys. Oh, big boys. Oh, okay, I see. I'm using seal skin like a lot. Orb of change, I'll take that. Let's zoom out a bit. You guys also told me to channel as much as I can my scourge arrow rather than pressing it nonstop, right? So that's what I'll do. Okay, now let's see. There's a few things I want to try. So I also have plague rare. Never forget plague rare. It's dope. Just get, do so much damage with plague there. Love it. Yeah, lots of stuff going on here. Lovely. Will I pick up everything? Not sure. I really need to explode some corpses. Let's see. How does it work? There's, there's some corpses over here. Let's try it out. So if I press R. Oh, wow. Oh, it's like a proper magic spell. Oh, dirty lockbox. Like, so let's check that one out. I wonder how long Act 7 is going to be because Act 6 was long. Mana, mana, mana. Oh, yeah. Anar is here. Let's capture some beasts, my dude. DPS is looking very good. Whoa, jeweler's orbs. Nice. Okay, we're getting some ballistas up in here. And I can have three. Jesus Christ. Still getting DPS to shit. Come on. All right, there we go. You've been captured, which means I'm going to go back to the bestiary later on and probably fight him again. Oh, I forgot. I got Defiance Banner. Right, so Defiance Banner was a red gem. I had some red slots and I was looking for stuff that I could potentially put down. And what I figured out was like, okay, maybe just Defiance Banner sounds like a really good gem. So let's try it out. So it should it's a boost, basically. It's like a, an aura. Let's try it out. Oh, blue item, silver coin. I'll take it. Casting once, taunt enemies. Yeah, 
Yep, enemies taunted, deal. So wait a second, I have it active or I place it. Oh, interesting. Okay, casting once reserves mana to carry a banner, which increases the armor and evasion of nearby allies. That's including me, right? Yeah, and reduce, that's why I read and I was like, yeah, cool, I need, I need to survive. And reduces the critical high chance of enemy. Yeah, cool, let's just do that. Increased armor and evasion, are you kidding me? Heck yeah. Okay, we found the silver locket. We're gonna have to deliver that. Let's do that. And maybe I'm just gonna go craft some movement speed on, on this bloody boots, you know? Carve my own path. Oh my god, this is one of them where your guys are going to be screaming at me to pick a certain flask and I'm just going to not get it. Ooh, increased damage. Armor, global critical strike chance. Should I go for the critical strike? Just kidding. I'll go for the evasion rating. Yay. I did good, right? Right, right, guys. Okay, heists. How does this work? No idea. Oh, put it in the thing and then click on the thing. Oh, this is a heist locker. What about my rogue markers? Oh yeah, I can put them here. Actually, I'm going to... Ooh, bunker blueprint. Am I deleting things here? because, oh no, this is just like a place to put my stuff. Okay, that's fine. Let's go to, let's create a portal and go to see these guys, see what they're all about. Oh, there's a million quests. If this is not part of act seven, I don't know if I should be doing them. Okay, I can purchase jobs from this guy. I can sell items from this person. Prepare heist. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited, but also terrified. Should I try a heist? Requires engineering. Why not? Okay, I'll try a heist. Is it like GTA? <laughs> prepare a heist. Hello. I would like to prepare this heist. Oh, the contract level is too low. Completing this contract would not grow. Oh, okay. Is there a better contract? 50? Okay, let's try a 50. Mm, no, but it is going to give my team lockpicking level one, and I can assign someone to this. I have signed the contract. <laughs> What's going on? I'm excited. Break into the facility, steal the urn without setting off the alarm. That's never happening. I am the noisiest archer that's ever lived. Oh, cool, cool, cool. So I can get items, but they're locked. I need to get away with them. All right, let's give, let's give it a try. Secure locker. Oh my God, the alert level is going up. Am I either I'm going too fast or I'm going too slow? Ooh, boots, purple boots. Okay, okay, I know what this is. This is a does do everything as fast as you can. Okay, ballista, ballista, come on. Begin the lock picking. Oh, this is great. This is insane. So alert level is pretty good, actually. Okay, I'm just going to open all the things. Oh, alert level just went up. Where's the exit? Uh, let me just get to the exit. Chaos orb, chromatic orb. Damn. Orb of chance. Yeah, so you got to kill them quickly. Okay, blunt arrow quiver, orb refusing. Yes, quivers. Love me some quivers. Oh, I got to go. I got to go. I got to go. Well, oh, wait a second. I'm supposed to steal this. This is not even the exit. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, contraband. Steal the urn without setting off the alarm. Escape the facility. Oh my God, this is so cool. How am I supposed to do this? I'm so scared. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I can do this, I can do this. Oh my God, they're like preparing for us on the other side of this wall. Are you kidding me? Jesus. Let's go boys. Oh, this is insane. I apologize in advance if I'm not picking up the stuff you want me to pick up. I am just hyped up right now on adrenaline. Oh, they're waiting for us there too, what? You know what I love about this? It's such a narrative event. Amulet, I'll take it. Come on, plague. I pressed on plague. God damn it, plague. There we go. No, 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 no. Don't let me die. Don't let me die. Oh my god, we did it. That was so fun. That was so fun. Scroll of wisdom on this one, and I got some boost. Ten percent increased movement speed. Let's go. Oh, that was so much fun. I would do more if I didn't have to get this video out of the way. Not out of the way, but otherwise my editor's just gonna <laughs> scream at me because I'm giving him six hours of footage. Reveal blueprint details. I've got blueprints. They're in my stash, I think. Oh my god. You know, it just goes deeper and deeper, my guys. Reveal room. Extraction point. Wing. Yeah, I'll reveal this room. Can I do that? No, don't keep. Okay, okay. Uh, I must be missing something. All right, that's okay. We'll pause it for now. I had a taste of it and I like it. I don't like it. I love it. Got some so she can make things to improve the people I take on my heists. Yeah, I can give them stuff. Jeez, this is so cool. This is so cool. Why have I never heard of all this before? I feel like, am I living in a bubble or something? Let's have a look at the planning room for a second. Ooh, planning table. Right, right. Confirm plans, no. Oh, wow. Okay, I need to find who I can exchange these things for. Actually, no, you know what? I'll just do the contract, do the contract. It's, it's too fun not to do it, sorry. Contract done. Sell the urn to Faustus to get myself some coin. Cool. I did complete my first contract. Thank you. Time for me to go back to whatever the hell I was doing before this, um, which was not as fun. <laughs> okay, fell shrine crypt to kill Maligaros, which is I hope I hope uh, another boss, another god of some sort. Every video should now start with one hour of admin because that's the reality of the game. Really, there's so, so much admin to do. Or maybe it's just because I'm not following a guide. Okay, the crypt. Here we go. Ooh, this is also a place to solve the trial of ascendancy, which I definitely will do. 
Trial of Ascent. Oh, Container of Sins. Oh, I found a map. Okay, now I need to get to the Trial of Sins, apparently. But first, I want to do my Trial of Ascendancy thing. You guys told me how important they were. Can't skip them. Found you. There you go. Trial of, of Ascendancy coming up. And we're done. And we got a crafting recipe. Great. So now that that's done, where do I go? Oh, I need to go the complete other way. And I also need to go talk to Helena, which I will do now. Oh, this bow is pretty amazing. Gain one mana per enemy killed. Well, 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 you have my attention. I'm going to sell these other two anyway. Uh, yeah, let's go back to the base. Okay, um, is there any way I can improve my boots? I basically need the same setup that I have here, please. That's that's what I would really like. So the way to do that, first of all, let's put all these currencies back in here. That's the way to do it. All right, all right, okay. Reforges the number of sockets on an item. Yes, yes, one more. Yes! Okay, I only have one of these reforges the links. So first of all, let's reforge the colors. No, 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 no. No, yeah, kind of. Okay, we'll take it. We'll take it. We'll take it. The RNG gods shall favor us. Okay, this is where it could it make or bust. Reforge the link between sockets. So, unfortunately, I don't have any space for my banner anymore. So, Defiance banner has to go. Yeah, sorry, but Steel Skin doesn't. So, what else can I put to support Steel Skin? That's the real question. And I am pissed off about Defiance banner, but it is what it is. Maybe I can just change the stun support, put Defiance banner, call it a day. It's not bad. Okay, I need two greens that can support my Steel Skin. Maybe I can can just make my steel skin insanely good right that's that's a good shout gems i need uh green gems okay nothing there so i better go back to lion's eye i need two gems that can support steel skin otherwise i think i'm just gonna have to reroll the colors oh man that sucks back to currency reforges the color it's it's my only chance it's my, it's the only thing i can do uh not quite i need red nah red no red no okay i'm f i'm effed yeah cool spent all that money for nothing awesome let's sell some stuff Am I selling this? That's the real question. No, I think I'm going to use it somehow. Volatile dead just didn't work out for me. So what I'm going to do is unequipped, put it on here. So what I'm doing is I'm putting Scourge Arrow, putting Scourge Arrow on it. Volatile dead did not work, was never going to work. Not for me. Chance to poison. I mean, I'll just keep it in on the side and I will sell the other bow for seven jeweler's orbs. Pretty good. What green support can I use here that would go with my Scourge Arrow? Supported skills deal 30% more damage with ailments. Wait, before I buy it, is my poison an ailment? Oh, more damage with hits and ailments per stage. Okay, so ailments is a good thing, right? Should I use this one? So I should be doing 30% more damage, but then 80% less damage with hits? Uh, is that good? I don't know. I guess we'll just have to find out. There's so much going on here. I don't even know. I'm kind of like put off. I don't know which one to take. Okay, let's put some gems back in here. Thank you guys. You've been great. Let's try this out. And if it works, cool. If it doesn't, eh. Is there any other green, like, um, spells that I could use potentially? Summon Ice Golem. Why not? If I do this, Second Wind is a cooldown. Uh, okay, I need to think about this. Poisonous Concoctions. What if I do that? And what can I use to support Poisonous Concoctions? Oh, pretty much freaking everything, apparently. Void Manipulation. More damage. I think I have that in my stash. Oh, maybe not. Ooh, a chain. I could chain it. That could be fun. Chain support. Well, I've really gone into the um, ridiculousness phase of all my skills here, uh, but we're just going to have to go with it. Uh, okay, let's also put some points. I really wanted to get up here, so that's what I'm going to do. I want to get to plus 20% maximum life, increase life. That's great. Apply points. Boom. Done. All right, let's go back on my mission. Oh, activate all my stuff. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. Yep. yep. Forget to, forgot to activate the things. At least I got my banner back. Give me a second, guys. I need to activate all my stuff. So I have so many auras. More damage over time. My banner's there. My god, the damage. What have I done? Why can't I? What? Why can't poison concoctions be used? Requires an empty main hand. Well done, idiot. So what do I want to do? Do I want to do seismic trap or flamethrower trap? I'll go with flamethrower. And now I need to change. Poisonous concoction was a terrible idea. There you go. I hope I can use it. Of course, my other gem doesn't support it anymore. Good times. Oh my god. Oh, multiple trap support. There we go. Two additional traps. Nice. Back to the fun. Why can't I use it? Why can't? Oh my god. Wait, maybe it's because I'm out of mana. No, I don't have any mana. Oh, it's because of all my bloody auras. What have I done? Oh my god. I thought I was being smart. I was not being smart. Okay, let's put a trap down. Trap. What? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> 
Uh, okay, that was fun. I don't know if it's very useful in terms of damage. Why is there no poison traps? Oh, I do remember there was a, a gem to create poison. Wait, I'm taking a lot of damage. I'm taking a lot of damage. Oh, steel skin. I forgot. Okay, first things first. Mana. Trap. Ballista, ballista, ballista. Mana. And then I can start DPSing. Oh, there you go. Chamber of Sins. That's where I'm supposed to go, right? God Ralakesh, I need to kill. Okay, was this flame trailer trap really worth it? No idea. Who knows? I'll tell you what was a terrible idea. That malevolence aura. Burn, baby, burn. Oh, more belts. Nice. So open the map of Maligabaduru, right? So is that what you call a map these days? Doesn't feel like a map. That's a lot of portals. Enter the sanctum of Maligabaduru. That's good. Oh my god, the damage that they're they're seriously hurting me. Okay, you're forcing me to get my traps out. Oh, you didn't walk on the trap. Good for you. Okay, I need to search for the black venom. Yeah, no, I'm dead. Oh, and I've I'm not in the thing anymore. I need to survive all that. Oh boy, did I do something wrong with my gems? Probably. I should malevolence should not be a thing. Okay, let's change malevolence. Flamethrower trap is also a bad idea. I know it sounds cool, but it's not. Or is this? What if I get a trap that will explode and deal poison damage? Okay, I've got a chance to poison. Get that. And then it does support flamethrower trap. Aha. Uh -huh. All right, we should be good. I need to try the trap real quick as soon as I can. See if the poison thing does work on these guys. I mean, kind of. Maybe as I level up the gem, it'll get better. I found him. I found Maligaro. Okay, let's go. The damage is real. I can do this. Whoa, cool spider. Dodge, dodge. Oh, I have dash now. Don't forget. Oh, they're both here now. Oh my God. Oof, oof, oof. I can do this. I can do this. You're not helping, Frank. It's emotional support. Oh, new spider. Two, three. Keep going, keep going. Ah, oh, first death. Oh, no. Do not tell me that I need to do this whole thing again. I better, I better get good because there's no second chances. And there you go. Ballista, ballista. There you go. Whoa, crazy. Whoa. Black Venom. What's that? Back to Yelena for a reward. You know what I hope it is? A better mana flask. Oh, Obsidian Key. Okay. Use the Obsidian Key to access the gate. Okay. There's a lot in here, isn't there? Use the Obsidian Key to access the den and from there reach the forest encampment and defeat Relikesh. Let's get out of here. Oh, I'm gonna guess this is what? The Obsidian Key? Yep. But first... Back to Helena for a tasty reward. Um, should I sell some of these? Yeah, keep one. Strength, life per second. That could be good. Yeah, I just go with the one that has the bigger number. I'm going to take the flame thro thrower trap thing out because it's really not good. It's insulting. These all go back to the stash. Also, yeah, can I get a reward, please? Oh, I just got boots, man. I just got boots. Why are you giving me boots? I just got boots. Oh, these are supposed to be better somehow. 121 evasion rating. There is an issue though. No movement speed. All right, let's move on. Okay, so I've been messaged on Discord about my steel skin build. Well, my setup anyway for steel skin. Someone said that I should put a sniper's mark on that. And I'm not sure why, but let's check it out. Sniper's mark. Sniper. Okay. Curse is a single enemy, increasing the damage they take from projectiles and making projectiles split when hitting them to hit other targets. Targets. That could be useful. I'm just after to do a steel skin. Okay, so now I have a sniper's mark. Okay, that uses mana, by the way, which I don't have. Let me ask him. Apparently, if I put a mark on hit, supports mark curse skills. It's a support thing that will go with sniper's mark. And I think that's going to apply steel skin? No. What's that all about then? Oh, mate. Oh, okay. I get it now. It's not supposed to improve steel skin. It's supposed to be better defensive setup, apparently. So mark on hit support. Supports mark curse skills 30 percent reduced effect on marks from supported skills triggers a supported skill when you hit a rare or unique item with an attack oh my god it puts the mark all by itself that's amazing that's amazing oh uh oh the realm is restarting in 30 minutes okay so this is a better setup apparently um i guess we'll just have to try it out guys you gotta help me with my stuff here i don't know what i'm doing in terms of gear i'm not doing a good job you guys gotta help me let's put all these gems where they're supposed to go first 
Oh, 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 po uh, po um, mana, mana. I need better mana things. Okay, to do that, I'll go to the latest one I can find. Let's have a look. The latest seller. Sorry, guys, I'm rambling. Excuse my words. Purchase item. Yeah, okay, give me a mana thing. Recover 700 mana over time. There you go. I need something better than that. Well, I don't need actually 700 mana over six seconds. I need, because I only have 400 mana, so maybe something better but less. Does that make sense? Maybe there's a way for me to improve this with currency. I remember seeing that somewhere. Got this search function is so good. Improves the quality of a flask. <laughs> You've been improved by 2%. Can I upgrade the flask? No. The flask? No. Oh, okay then. All right, forget that. Let's go beat some bad guys. Use the obsidian key to access the den. Yeah, sounds good. Okay, how do I know if the mark is working, guys? I'm not sure if it's working. Is it working? Oh, the effect of the mark is reduced, but triggers supported skill when you hit a rare or unique enemy with an attack. Oh, like steel skin? Does it trigger steel skin? No, it doesn't support steel skin. What's going on here? Did I do something wrong? Oh, oh, the mark, the mark, it's right there. It works. It's just a non-hit thing. Oh man, that's amazing. What's going on? Why are they? Oh, yeah, that's not me. Moving on. Yay, I did the thing. <laughs> Sunder. And a better quiver, potentially, with attack speed. Maybe I can, like, improve it. Use some gems or something. Yo, it's a hideout. Yes, I'll clean it up. Cool. Hideout unlocked. I think I prefer this one. It looks dope. Yeah, let's go for this one. Um, Which one is this? Baleful hideout. Love it. This my will hide out. This my hide out. Wait, no. How do I get back to where I was? Forget it. The den. What's this? Unearth remnants. Hey, Rog. Oh, I know what this is. It's my favorite thing ever. I actually really like this. Um, It's kind of a mechanic I haven't really discovered went into too, too, too much because the, the heist thing kind of took over. Okay, okay, okay. So let's put a detonator there. Let's put a detonator there. Let's put a detonator here. Put a detonator there. I do not know what I'm doing, Rog. It's thank you for reminding me. Let's get some mana in. Let's put one, two, three of these and let's detonate the explosives. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, this is so fun. Oh, that's a shame I died. I bit off more than I could chew. Does that mean I, I like I lost everything? Like everything I could lose, basically? No, no, we're still going for it, I think. Yep, all right. E.T. Yep, let's go. Oh man, dead it again. I'm not doing this right. Back up a bit, back up a bit. Ballista, ballista, ballista. Yeah, ballista saving my life once again. And we're done. And we got these excavated chests. And they don't seem to have much. Oh, well, there you go. Did it. Finally, a better quiver. Nice. Also, potentially a better flask. How about that? Yeah, that could be useful. Let's, let's give this one a shot. Let's try it out. See how, how it feels. Currently, it's not full and I'm not sure why. I think I need to kill things. Yep, I need to kill things. Oh, I'm in the Ashen Fields. And there's another explodey exploding thing to do. And I'm fighting monkeys again. Okay, I'm getting somewhere. So I'm going to put some ballistas down. One, two, three. Detonate the explosives. Let's go. Ballistas? Yeah. Keep going, buddy. You can do this. Nice. Oh, I'm just realizing the... Oh, okay. The chests have nothing to do with where I blow it up. I c kind of. Or it has everything to do with where I blow it up. The If I blow up one of these things with it, then I have modifiers. Okay. I'm learning. I'm learning, guys. I swear. Okay. I can't see the expeditions yet. I'm not fancy enough. That's fine. Exchange items. These are artifacts, but I don't have any... Can I? Yeah, I don't even have any coins or anything, so there's no point. I'll get to it eventually. Oh, there is Grust Lord of the forest yes and you're marked which is awesome well he is not dying let me tell you all right come on ballista ballista i always say it twice but i should actually say it three times because i always get three ballistas they call me nix no dash because i never use the freaking dash it's only because my fingers are on one two three four i'm having a hard time going to w oh my god no die oh Still alive. Ballista, ballista, ballista. There we go. Got a few things. Relicash is done for. So I got a new one of these guys. Relicash, where are you? There you are. Reduce physical damage over time taken while moving. Moving while bleeding doesn't cause you to take extra damage. Cool. New. No. I think I'll keep the life flask thing. It's just much better. Where am I now? So I'm supposed to go back, finish this, which I probably should do. All right, let's do that and go sell a few things. I will sell this unique item. It has been sold. I hope I haven't made a huge mistake. Get the passive point, put these two points in life because that's what I need. And I think keep going pretty much. 
Yeah, let's keep going. Orb of Regret, finally got one. Only 57 more to respec. Not that I would respec right now. I've worked so hard on this build. It'd be kind of hilarious to like add my build to an official site and call it the Nyx Vellum build. It has no use whatsoever. <laughs> it's probably not that unique. I know I got a lot of comments after the first episode saying, oh, you're going in the right direction. This is like a normal build that you would take. Um, so I obviously got lucky somewhere. A dread thicket is my next port. Uh, is that a good place to be? Uh, probably not. Oh, wait, no, go back, go back. There was a few things. There doesn't seem to be any quest markers. Shrine to Arakabuili. No, I think I've, I've gotten here a bit early. Oh, I say that. There are quest markers all over the place. What's that about? Let's go check it out. Oh my god. Fireflies? Okay, got myself a firefly. Uh, got three fireflies. Let's go back to the shrine. Maybe that'll help. Master Explorer. What the f- what is this? What is this, dude? I'm just incursion help page unlocked. Oh my god, more things to read. Incursions? Incur Once you have reached Act Seven, you may encounter Alva Villai. Alva is trying to find the location of the Lost Treasure Temple. Oh, it's the Indiana Jones. This is insane. Absolutely insane. We are restarting the realm. Okay, I think I think I'm gonna have to disconnect and I'm gonna be forced to grab some dinner. This is when the leak starts, right? Oh, okay, cool. Disconnect away, baby. I've activated the shrine. I must now go home to talk to Helena for some reason. Let me just kill these guys first. I have a lot of quests. This is gonna be another long act, which is good. I have to go kill the mother of despair. Oh, search for the fireflies in the dread thicket, then deliver them to Yina. All right, nope. The mother of spiders, temple incursions, Lord's labyrinth, so much to do. All right, back to where we were. Although actually, league is ending in one minute, so I'm gonna take a 15 minute break and eat some food. See you on the other side, exile. One eternity later. And we are back after actually an hour. It took a bit longer than 30. 30 minutes for everything to get sorted it seems let's do these quests let's go so i think i'll go for the lighting the way because i don't think i don't think that's the main quest not sure anymore oh hi how's it going okay 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 sorry and i had to cut you short there but i'm getting attacked by a million people here so i'm super excited to continue playing i was actually upset when i had to stop <laughs> it's okay i had to feed myself somehow all right here we go it seems like I have a quest for Einar, Einar, Einar in this uh, zone, which um, is kind of new. Usually you just kind of find him and then there's beasts to kill. But this time he actually appeared and he was like, hey, I, I need your help. And I'm very happy to help my buddy Einar. Oh, new boat. Ballista, ballista, ballista. Whoa, I got one shot. I just got one shot. Whoa, what the hell was that about? I'm actually scared now. I got one shot by an enemy for the first time in Act 7. New boat. There it is. It's still there. Okay, how are we going to do this? I'm terrified. Okay, ballista, ballista, ballista. Heal. Okay, ballistas will take the heat off me for a bit. And I'm able to DPS him then. Ballista, ballista. There we go. Ballista, ballista, ballista. There you go. Nearly dead. Yo, create a unique one, new recipe. Okay, whatever, but like there was this huge sound and then I took a gajillion danger damage. Instantly nearly dead. Oh, I need to also travel to the menagerie. All right, let's continue our quests. All right, cool. So we've got one quest, two quests here, which is Queen of Despair. I have to kill Gruth Kull, the mother of despair. And the other one is search for the fireflies, then deliver them to Yeeha, <laughs> whatever her name is. Whoa, what are these items? Why do they have a special thing on them? Let's have a look here. My defense is chaos resistance minus 30%. Anyway, yeah, okay, we'll have to look at all this later. Uh, I'm gonna pick a few of these and sell them. Kill Gruth Cool. Oh, look at this guy. He's so cool. Okay, how many times am I gonna die to this guy? Let's try zero. More likely two. Oh, although he's taking damage. Ballista, ballista, ballista. The only issue I've got here is that my flasks are not recuperating fast enough. Oh, I'm dead. Okay, I gotta be careful of these fissures on in the ground. That's why I got one shot last time. Oh, dude. So that's two? Well, guess what? Guess who was right on point? It's two. I died twice. Why do I have all these amazing items that I cannot use? Sniper bow. Any good sniper bow. Yeah, really good sniper bow. Whoa. Oh, well, in terms of damage, anyway. But this raven mask. Yeah, I might as well just carry this. This, I get better accuracy, more life, more mana, increased stun and block. Good contender. Okay, back home to sell some stuff. Sorry, Sin, I'll be right back. 
Oh, I can talk to Sin here. Makes it all the same. Did I unlock something here? Yeah. Oh, 5% damage reduction. But flask is still a problem, so keep the flasks in for now. Do I need to go back in the dread thicket? Yeah. So who's Yina? I need to deliver them to Yina. There she is, Yina. Hey, can I give you these? Here, can I give, can I give you them? No, no, can't. So how am I supposed to give you these fireflies? Uh, silk? Okay, I'll look for the rest of them and get back to you. I think I need to get all the fireflies. Could have given me a, a number of fireflies. That would have been helpful. Oh, yes. I forgot about this whole thing, this whole mechanic. Everything's dark. Yes. Am I supposed to destroy these totems? Oh, yo, 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 yo. Three, two, one. Did I fail? No, I got some stuff. Bring the fireflies to Yina in town. Right, so I did get all the fireflies I needed. So that was the last one. Let's go back to the bridge encampment. Please take these fireflies. Do I get to purchase new things from you? No. You need seven fireflies to burn open the entrance to Araki's temple. Deliver them to her at the entrance of the temple. Cool, I've got them all. Let's do it. Wait a second. I had You said you'd be there at the entrance of the temple. Oh, I guess the entrance of the temple is not where I thought it would be. That's just a shrine. It's not the entrance. Okay. The rest of the quests are all north of here. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Going through another portal. Oh, I've got this this gauge at the bottom left of my screen that's filling up. I guess that's to like unlock items. Nice, I get like a cool... Oh, okay, cool, done. I have unlocked the chains that bind, the gem cutter, the, glady the gladiator, sorry. Oh, but there's more. Ballista, ballista, ballista. These guys die easy, which I love. That's level 60, GG, GG level 60. Let's put some items. So this seems like a high value item. I need to do this in, in sequence. I remember, I know things. Time to blow it all up. One, two, three, ballista, 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 detonate. Come on, survive, survive, survive. Out of mana the whole time. Okay, look at all these chests. Gonna have to go through all of these. So many good things. Cool chests with a hunter's hood, which I could upgrade and I need to look into that. High born bow. Yep. Back to the town I go. Storm hunter's bow. Hunter's hood, sorry. 20 dexterity. A new hood, potentially. What do you guys think? There's a lot of elemental resistance here that I'd be missing on though. Increased armor. It doesn't matter. I get more evasion rating, right? That's good. Cool. Let's try it on for size. Just for a minute. Hey, new hood, who dis? One more detonation I can put down. Oh, come on, I can put it here, no? I mean, no, I should be able to. Oh, well, I've done it now, so. All right, ballista, ballista, ballista. Ballista, ballista, ballista. Some more exploration with Indiana Jones that I would love to do and get to it in a second if I don't die first, Jesus. Jesus. Okay, I have to find an item here on the causeway. That's that's actually what I need to do. What the hell? What is attacking me like this? The damage is real. Keep going, keep going. Crafting recipe, I'll take it. Waypoint, I'll definitely take that. What the hell is going on with this voodoo pole? <laughs> this is ridiculous. All right, time to die now, sir. Thank you. And my bags are full. My bags are full. They're always full. Oh, could this be the jewel I'm looking for? Yeah, I think it is. Nice. Got the star. Try not to die. Ballista, ballista, ballista. Always rely on the ballistas. The Vale City. First, going back to town. Identifying and then selling straight away. I'm supposed to go see someone now, no? Yes. Delivered to Whalem. Oh, yeah, it was like his kid's toy or something like that. Okay, let's keep going. We've got three quests to do here. The Explorer, once again, I will get back to you. Just give me a second. Found the waypoint and Yina, the entrance of the, the temple. Cool. So I need to go into the temple and save our friend Silk. He got himself in a bit of a bit of a pickle. I wonder if spiders have like inherent chaos resistance or not. Is there any way for me to make this aura bigger? Be a lot of help. It would up my DPS by quite a bit. Let's continue. God, I hate these guys. Do you know why I hate them? Because they do exactly what I do. Just worse. Oh my god, we've made it. We've made it, guys. Oh, well done. I've got four points to put. Passive points. Uh, I need to pause and figure out where to put them. If I keep dying to Arakali, then I will. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. Oh my god, this is so cool. Once again, out of mana. Ballista, ballista, ballista. So far, so good, guys. Keep praying. Oh my god, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? <laughs> I say that and then I'll go to crap. Okay, ballista, ballista, ballista. Spread them out so they don't die immediately. Oh my god. Oh, 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 oh. The animations are so nice. Halfway there. Ooh. One, two, three. Ballista, ballista. Okay, now it's just shotgunning us. Yeah, yeah, okay. I swear to god, if this game just starts getting futuristic, I don't know what I'm gonna do. 
Oh, one death. Not too bad. I've had worse, right? Ballista, ballista, ballista. Ballista, ballista, ballista. Oh, I'm dead again. Okay, what is going on? Put some points. Um, I think I'm going to go for a bit of extra spell suppression. That's all right with you guys. There you go. Let's hope I didn't make a huge mistake. Okay, one, two, three. Ballista, ballista, ballista. Jeez. Just, yeah, there you go. Just get away from its front when it's shotgunning you. Come on, I can do this. Oh, I'm going to put a portal up because just in case I click on the uh, bring me back to town or whatever. Okay, uh, dead three times. I think I'm, I'm getting slower as the night keeps crawling on. Oh my god. I thought I'd just put some spell suppression. I should be like way better at this right now. Let's activate everything that needs to be activated. Yeah, we're doing well. Stay away from its front. Come on. Oh my god, it's got rolling balls now. If there's a phase two, I'll scream. Shark, shark, uh... Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Use your dash. Oh god, I can't I can't believe I haven't used my dash this whole time. I can do this, come on. There we go. Dash. You can do this, you can do this. He's nearly dead. She's nearly dead. It's nearly dead. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes. 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 Well done. Oh, it was a big god too. The exit to act eight is now open. Oh, cool. But wasn't there another quest I needed to finish? I'm doing every quest. That's a pretty revealing dress. Um, anyway, on to the Sarn rampart Ramparts. Meet Sin at the Saren Encampment. Oh, of course. It's the Saren Encampment. Right. So this is act eight. So I will leave it at that for now. Actually, no, I'm going to get to the camp first. There we go, we made it to the Sarn encampment and things look a little green. Wonder what's going on. Whew, we'll get to it eventually. Um, let's just go back to Act 7 for a second. I want to check out this rogue thing. Okay, I've sold my stuff. Now, let's go to the rogue town. Oh, it seems like there's a bunch of people to talk to. Yeah, I know who you are. We've already spoke. Okay, I've already spoken to all you guys. Why do I have to introduce myself? We, we've gone on things together. We've, we've had these conversations before. Right, there's a contract, you complete the contract. Okay, I've done all this stuff. I've done all this stuff, I don't need to do it again. I mean, I really want to, but I'll probably do it off camera if I do it at all. Just because we gotta wrap this video up. It's been the longest video to date. Okay, so that's a complete the contract kind of thing. Right, and the temporal incursion. Ooh, I'd be doing myself a disservice if I don't do that. I am never going to bed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm never going to get some rest. Let's just, let's just quickly have a look. Let's just quickly have a look. So what am I talking about? Well, I'm talking about the, the Vale City, I believe, which is a place where there's Indiana Jones, no? Where's she gone? I need to find her. Okay, I find her a wrong way, I think. So where is the, the oh, the, it's in the Dread Thicket, right? I think that's where it is. The Dread Thicket, that's where I found her last time. Okay, let's try and find her again. Okay, I remember her being here, but she's not here anymore. Did I miss that forever? I hope not. Oh man, maybe I'll find her in act eight, who knows. If I do, I'll definitely do an Indiana Jones mission. Let's do pros and cons. And overall, in terms of pros, the game is incredibly regular at delivering quality content. That's a pro. The more I play this game, the more I think I've found everything, only to realize that I haven't even scratched the surface, really. I have been having a lot of fun, that's for sure. Another pro, the voice acting, the quest, the lore. It's incredibly impressive. Another pro, I'm still excited to finish this campaign. And I've been playing for a long time, in my opinion. And for a free-to-play game, that's quite impressive. Oh, I nearly forgot. Another pro is the heist system. I think it's my favorite feature from this game so far. It was such a breath of fresh air. It's a testament to the creativity of GGG that they're able to create this content that has such a simple idea as a heist, but apply it to an ARPG, which you would never think about being stealthy in an ARPG, but they've somehow figured it out. It was really impressive. 10 out of 10 on that one. Now, I do want to talk about a few cons that I've thought about this playthrough. Act 7 for me dragged a bit. I found it to be long, but also I don't mind a long act. I found that a lot of the content I was doing, not like the seasonal content and, and the hideouts and all that, that was great. But most, a lot of these dungeons and a lot of these maps, I was kind of going around in circles looking for an objective, which I guess is normal, but there was a lot of U-turns in my opinion. I was going around and around a lot, getting into dead ends, stuff like that. So I've mentioned length as a con, and I'll give you another con in my 
opinion. Um, I've done what you guys have told me to do. I've applied the filter, the most popular filter at that, and I'm still baffled by how quickly my inventory fills up. And every time I have to stop playing the game to go back to town to filter through my inventory is a real headache. Maybe this is a not a problem when you're max level at end game, but right now it's a bit of a bummer for me. Another con, it's probably me. I still haven't replaced my chest piece, which I really wanted to. And my character has just looked the same for the past 50 levels or so. And maybe that's on me, but I feel like that's kind of a big bummer. You know, there's no actual evolution on my character, the stronger I get visually. And I believe that's a big con for any game. Overall, guys, I'm having a fantastic time with Path of Exile. It's been so much fun and it's even better knowing that you guys are helping me out, helping me figure out the game, helping me figure out the mechanics. Um, at the beginning, I wasn't sure. At the beginning of this series, I wasn't sure about making a series on an ARPG that's kind of famously hard without a guide. But I realized now that I made a really good decision because it keeps me engaged. Every time before I record, I spend a lot of time kind of figuring out like what gem can I put in? And, and that's a lot of fun to me. That's like what most of the fun is all this playtesting I'm doing on the gems. It's really cool. Before we go, I want to thank everybody in the Discord channel and everybody in the comments for helping me out, figuring out how to play the game and how to understand all these mechanics. You guys have been great. If you want to support the channel, there's multiple ways to do this. I've got Amazon affiliate links in the description, but also I've recently launched a YouTube member subscription. If you want to support me and buy me a beer or a coffee every month, that'd be amazing. Of course, no pressure at all, but I'd love to have you. The perks aren't insane. It's just a few emojis and a badge next to your name, um, but you have my eternal gratitude, of course, if that helps. Uh, and please come into the Discord. Come have a chat. I'm on there most days uh, talking to everybody and just like really enjoying making friends. All right, on that note, thank you so much, everybody. Uh, I'll see you in Act 8. Uh, in the lead up to Act 10, which I believe is the last act, I'm getting a bit sad because I feel like I'm going to lose all my new friends. <laughs> um, I, I hope not. Of course, I'll continue making Path of Exile content and Diablo content. It's just, it feels like we're coming to the end of a journey um, altogether and it feels like we're kind of sharing something special altogether in a way. So yeah, thanks again, everybody. Um, and on that note, thank you again. <laughs>